what is up everybody, Donna here, we're back with another video. In this video, we'll be talking about the top 5, you know, SMGs, in my opinion. So yeah, it's just my opinion. Hope you guys really enjoy this video. Leave a comment and all that after. So yeah, let's get into it. So, our first thing is not going to be a surprise. It's the Grease Gun, obviously at number 5. So, with the Grease Gun, it ain't really that bad. Especially if you know how to use it. So yeah. Let's do some highlights right here. A couple highlights, you know. So you ain't really that bad if you know how to use it. I know the SMG is really, really bad. But this is just the worst by far. Because, you know, it, I don't know, it just seems like you know, to answer the others and compare really well and use it, but it's still pretty good. So, I'm going to leave you all with these few highlights and feedback for the next gun, okay? We got the Type 100. And Type 100, I like the weapon, okay? I like it. It's a little slower, if not slower than fire rate, which is why it's at 4. But it's a little better than the Grease Gun, since that has, you know, a little lower. Feel. And it's, it's like an assault rifle as well, like at least a mid range. Than the beast in that mid range. And it's still pretty dumb up close. So yeah, that's why it's here at number four. I'll leave you guys the highlights and be back with number three. At number three, we got the Wall 28, and this is pretty much Faster shooting type 100, pretty much. Not more recoil, but it's deadlier, it's quicker to kill people because of its power rate. And if you can control that, it could possibly be number two, number one. But since it's fire rate, this is my opinion, it's just because it's too, too fast and I can't control the recoil. But it could be just number two, number one for people, other people. But if I could control it a lot better. I would say it's number two for me. So number one. We'll see that later, but yeah. This is pretty much a faster shooting. Type 100. Not really good mid range because of the recoil. So yeah, but it's deadly. Really, really deadly. So I'll let you guys watch more of the highlights. So yeah, I'll be back to number two. Now at number 2, this might be a shocker for some, but it's the PPSH. This, at first for the week 2, or, or beta, I mean the whole beta, this was the best gun. Press and key, at least, I don't know if it's the best gun. I mean, for me, it's probably is the best gun, or second at least. Because it's obviously number 1. It was updated yesterday, which we'll get into number 1. But the PPSH is just dead. Okay, see that three piece? Only part of the wall in the number one can number one kind of online list can probably do that in the PPSH. It, it's stable when it comes to fire or when it comes to recoil, it's very really stable. So yeah, I like it. And pretty good. 
really, really good. So, let's get into number one. And this is the Thompson. It was new, and it was God Gun in the Alpha. I haven't played, but I heard a lot of people saying it's the God Gun. And this gun is a beast. Especially if you put fire rate, drum mag, it has like no big cool, no does, but not too much. I think PSH does beat it when it comes to mid range, in my opinion, it does three cool. But when it comes to just straight out slaying, the Thompson just wins. Every single time. It just wins, okay? It, it's really good. Really, really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments about if you agree or disagree with this list. Okay? So, because this is just my opinion. And I had a lot of fun making this video. Like, five games, and that's really it. But Thompson is really, really good. And I've just been playing with it all day. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Leave your suggest. Leave your own. Your version of the top five SMGs. And once the full game comes out, beat it. All the SMGs with the MP4 and all the other ones. And every other set category. Donut out.